एस चांद प्रेजेंट एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Now before starting about the efficiency and regulation in the transformer firstly we will understand what are the step up and step down transformer I am Narendra Kaur now if you want to study this topic in detail kindly refer this book by S Chand Publishing ebook link description is given in the description box so let us begin with the step up and step down transformer we will explain you all these topics so first one is the step up and second one is a step down transformer now in order to understand this we know that emf in the transformer that is can be given by this relation n into d phi by dt what is this here e is a emf of the transformer n is a number of turns and phi this is a flux if phi that is a flux over here now phi that can be represented as phi m into cos omega t or that can be represent we know that there can be also written as phi is equals to phi m into sin omega t here the input power input flux that can be represented in terms of sinusoidal wave now how there comes an flux firstly there is an input power input voltage is supplied due to this the current is flowing in the circuit due to this current emf is induced and due to induced emf again the current is induced and due to this current we will get the output voltage means the input is electrical and output is also electrical and whole part of the transformer that is in the static condition now phi is given by phi m into sin omega t what is phi m over here that is the maximum value of the flux so due to induced emf the flux is induced in the circuit what is omega t that is a phase representation so this is a phase of flux induced now d phi by dt that can be written as so differentiate this relation with respect to time phi m into sin omega t so this is given by phi m omega into cos omega t so this is our d phi by dt now the emf that can be written like this so the emf e that is given by n into d phi by dt that is phi m omega into cos omega t so this is emf that is a epsilon or emf is represented by e now for the primary winding for the primary winding this emf is written as e1 which is equals to n1 phi1 omega into cos omega t what is n1 here n1 is a number of turns in the primary winding second e2 for the secondary winding that is n2 phi m omega into cos omega t because flux is generated same in the primary winding as well as in the secondary winding so what is n1 here n1 is a number of turns in the primary winding n2 that is a number of turns in the secondary winding and flux is same in both the cases so again the emf ratio e1 upon e2 that is equals to n1 by n2 so what is e1 here e1 is a emf 
एट द प्राइमरी वाइंडिंग और यू कैन से दैट दट इज द इनपुट वोल्टेज इनपुट वोल्टेज एंड ए टू दैट इज द ई एम एफ एट द सेकेंडरी वाइंडिंग विच इज इक्वल टू आउटपुट वोल्टेज दिस ई वन बाय ए टू वी गेट हेयर एन वन बाय एन टू now in case of transformer the number of turns that can be tuned because the number of turns these are related to the primary and the secondary winding so the number of turns that can be tuned now in the first case when n1 is more than n2 means the number of windings is more the number of turns are more in for the n1 than the n2 if this is so then again what we will get here e1 is more than e2 means input is more than the output here the input is more than the output means the output is lower by some value so such kind of transformers are known as step down transformer so such kind of transformers are known as step down transformer and the second case when n1 is less than n2 so in this case e1 is less than e2 means input is more than the output number of turns in the secondary windings are more than the number of turns in the primary winding so here output is more so such kind of transformer are known as step up transformer so depending upon the requirement what kind of input and output we required if we required small output smaller output then we use the number of primary windings are more than the secondary winding automatically output at the transformer that will be smaller step down transformer are used if this voltage is more also we know that if this e1 upon e2 that is also given in the current form that is given by i2 by i1 this is also called k what is k here that is known as a turnover number k is called here turnover number means if e1 is more than e2 automatically i2 will be more than i1 means the current in the secondary winding is more and also you can say that voltage is smaller current is more so what kind of requirement we need so if we need more current smaller voltage we use a step down transformer and also here if e1 is less than e2 automatically the i1 that is more than i2 means current will be smaller so if we require small current then we will use a step up transformer but in our case we need the more current and the smaller voltage means step down transformer they are preferred so step down transformers they are preferred so that's why the number of turns in the primary windings are always taken more than the number of turns in the secondary winding so in the normal transformers which we have used in that case the number of turns are more for the primary winding than for the secondary winding so step down transformers are preferred always so this is all about the first part so in the first part we have studied about the step up transformer and the step down transformer so why in the step up transformer efficiency uh, that is means output is smaller than the input now in the second part we will study about the efficiency and the voltage regulation of the transformer now if you want to study this topic in detail kindly refer this book by s chand publishing e book link description is given in the description box if you like this video please kindly like subscribe and share this video 
and also press the bell icon for the future notifications. holder.